Good day mga kaisip mat, teacher ko po of isip mat tutorial at pag-usapan natin ngayon yung ating grade 7 mathematics module 3 pero bago pa ang lahat, if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my videos for our learning competencies we have here the learner translates English phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa and the learner illustrates and differentiates related terms in algebra okay and at the end of the lesson the learner expected to translate english phrases to multiple phrases and vice versa illustrate and differentiate related terms in algebra a a to the power of n where n is a positive integer letter b constants and variables letter c literal coefficients and numerical coefficients and letter d algebra expressions terms and polynomials and letter e number of terms degree of the term and degree of the polynomial for our lesson one we have here translation of english phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa so the language of algebra is composed of numerals letters to represent unknown numbers and symbol or signs for the operation the symbols of operation and relations with their corresponding meaning are as follows so we have here the symbols and the meaning okay so first we have here the plus symbol or somewhat like a cross so and the meaning of this one is increased by addition plus added to the sum of or more than and next symbol is this one the meaning of this one is subtraction minus decrease by subtracted from less than diminished by and next symbols is this one we have this x symbol and the dot and the open and close parentheses so the meaning of this one is multiplication times multiplied by of product of okay then the next symbol is this one the meaning of this is division divided by ratio of quotient of and this symbol is equals or equal to and this symbol the point going to left is less than and next symbol is this one yung kanyang point i going to the right so the meaning is greater than then this one is less than or equal to or is at most and the next symbol is this one is greater than or equal to or is at least and the last symbol is this sign or the symbol the meaning of this one is not equal okay it's not equal to okay so we have here the examples 10 added by twice a number x so 10 added by so plus sign right then twice a number of x okay then a number y multiplied by 7 so y times 7 or 7 times y this one okay so just check these examples okay then we have here the exercises or the exercise direction match its verbal phrases or phrase under column a to its mathematical phrase under column b a letter may be used more than once okay so for our column a we have here the sum of a number and three four times a center uh, four times a certain number decreased by one one subtracted from four times a number and, our, and for our column b we have here letter a for x minus one letter b x plus three and letter c one minus four x so sa ating number one ang ating column a we have four uh, we have the sum of a number and three so it means ito letter b the sum of a number and three so yung ano number x plus three right then four times a certain number decreased by one so the answer of this one number two letter a is letter a and letter b okay letter a sa column b okay which is four times a certain number x decreased by one okay so number three of column a is very obvious okay so the answer is letter c in column b Okay, one subtracted from four times a number and for the next item is translate the following mathematical phrase into verbal phrase we have here 6x minus 5 so all you have to do is 
translate this one into verbal phrase. Okay, and then for our lesson 2, base, exponents, constants, variables, and coefficients. So, we know how to calculate the expression 5 times 5. This expression can be written in a short way as 5 squared. 5 squared is 5 times 5. And it is called power or exponent. So, 5 is an exponent of 2. Then, the number 5 is called the base. And the number 2 is called the exponent. The exponent corresponds to the number of times the base is used as a factor. So, ibig sabihin po, 5 squared or 5 to the exponent of 2 it means 5 times 5, diba? So, we will multiply 5 twice. So, 5 times 5. Okay, so we have heard the examples. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. Or just equal to 6, diba? Our base is 6 and our exponent is 5. Okay, the base is 6 and exponent is 5. And for letter B, we have, heard, we have here 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 and times 4. So, this is equal to 4 At ating exponent naman ay 7 So, ating base is 4 The exponent is 7 And for letter C We have, we have here Negative 7 to the exponent of 4 Diba? Or to the power of 4 So, negative 7 Diba? Negative 7 times negative 7 Times negative 7 Times negative 7 Okay? So, for letter D Ang yung negative sign ay andun sa labas Diba? Kasi Ang nasa loob ng parenthesis ay si 7 So nagiging ganito So the base is 7 and exponent is 4 The same with the letter C But the base in letter C is negative 7 Unlike for letter D That the base is positive 7 Kasi yung negative 7 is andun sa labas ng parenthesis And then for letter E 2 We have here Times x The exponent or the power 5 So it means our base is x and exponent is 5 Diba? 2 times the x here Okay, base And exponent is 5 And we have this one 2x Close open parenthesis Diba? Nasa loob ng parenthesis To the power of 5 So it means 2x 2x, 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 2x So our base is 2x And exponent is 5 So what's the difference of this one? So yung letter E Wala sa loob ng parenthesis si x Or si 2x Diba? So, it means, ibig sabihin nyo, ang base lang niya ay si x. Pero sa letter F, ang base niya ay si 2x. ba Kasi andun sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay. So, in the language of algebra, the following are important terms to remember. Letter A, constant. So, constant, a number of, a number on its own, a term without a variable. For example, 1 or 13. So, constant, wala po siyang variable. Like 20, 30, 5, 6. So, constant po siya. And then for variable, a symbol, usually letters which represents a value of a number. For example, A or X. Okay. So, ibig sabihin ng variable, ano pa siya? Like letters. Okay. X, Y, M, N. Okay. So, that's it. And then for the coefficient, a number multiplied the variable, variable. So, for example, we have this one. In 4X, 4 is the coefficient. Okay. So, we have if, if we have this one, 4X, Yung 4 natin ay coefficient, numerical coefficient, di ba? Yung, yung x is our variable. Okay, so for example, we have also like 10y. So 10 is our coefficient and y is our variable. And for letter D term, a term is a constant or a variable or constant and variables multiplied together. For example, we have this one, 4, okay, x and y or 8xz. To the power of 3 Okay, that's its term that, that is a term Okay So, then terms numbers part Is called numerical coefficient While the variable Or variables including the exponent Is or are called The literal coefficients Okay, so for the term 8yz To the power of 3 Our numerical coefficient is 8 Okay, and the literal coefficient Is yz To the power of 3 Okay, so we have here the examples 2x cubed or 2x to the power of 3 plus 4y minus 9. So, ang terms po natin ay yung 2x cubed, si 4y at saka si 9. Yung constant po natin, ibig sabihin walang variable, walang halong variable is only 9, di ba? At saka yung ating variables, si x at saka si y, di ba? Sa ating terms, si x at saka si y yung letters na nandun. 
Then coefficients or numerical coefficients is 2 and 4. Saan galing si 2? Ito siya galing dito. Numerical coefficient ng 2x cubed. Di ba? Tsaka si 4 galing dito kay 4y. And our literal coefficient is x cubed and y. Same also with the next na term natin. Ito, 7ab to the power 4 plus 5a squared b cubed plus 6. So this is our terms. And our constant is 6. Our variables is a and b. And our coefficients or numerical coefficients are 7 and 5. And our literal coefficients are a, b to the power 4, a squared, and b cubed. Okay, so we have here the exercise. Identify the base and exponents of the following expression. So for number 1, we have here 4 to the power of 3 or 4 cubed. So our base is 4 and our exponent is 3. Alright? Then next is we have here 7c to the power of 10. So our base is c. Okay, then our exponent is 10. And complete the table below. We have here the expression. So just write the terms, constants, variables, numerical coefficients, and literal coefficients. And for lesson 3, we have expressions and polynomials. So a polynomial is an algebra expression whose terms is a constant and variable and okay constant a variable or a product or a quotient of constants and variables in which the variable has a whole number or non-negative exponent so an algebra expression is not a polynomial if okay bisabi nito kung yung algebra expression hindi po siya polynomial if the exponent of a variable is not a whole number okay then second is the variable is inside the radical sign and for let number three there is a variable in the denominator so we have here kinds of polynomials according to the number of terms monomial consists of only one term so we have this one 4x diba? this is a monomial only one term or negative 5y to the power of 3 this is a monomial for the binomial consists of two terms for example 2x squared, uh, no, 2x cubed minus 5. Diba? Ito, 2x cubed minus 5. This is a term. And this is a binomial. Kasi dalawang terms. Okay? 3x squared plus 2y. Okay, this is a binomial. 3x is trinomial. Consists of three terms. Examples, we have your x to the power of 4 minus 4x to the power of 3 plus 3x. So, this is a trinomial. Consists of three terms. And... Another example, 4y squared minus 2y plus 11. This is a trinomial. Okay. And for number 4, we have multinomial. Consists or contains at least 4 terms. So, we have here example, m plus 2n plus 3p minus 6. Okay. As you can see it here, apat na terms. And another example, 8x cubed plus 7x squared plus 4x minus 9. Okay. The degree of monomial is the sum of the exponents of all the variables in the term. The degree of a polynomial is the highest degree among all the monomials in that polynomial. If the variable has no exponent, then the degree is 1. Okay, so for example, we have this one. Determine the degree of each of the following polynomial. Letter A, 6x squared. Letter B, 2xy squared. And letter C, negative 8x cubed y plus 3xy minus 7. Solution for letter A. The degree is 2. This one. And the exponent is only 2. Okay? And for letter B, since the degree of X is 1, ito si X, di ba, wala sa exponent, so it means 1. And the degree of Y is 2. Di ba? Kasi Y squared. Then, the degree of 2XY squared is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay? For letter C, since the degrees of monomials 8X cubed, Y, then 3XY, and 7, are 4, 2, and 0 respectively. Saan galing si 4? Ito. X cubed plus Y to the power of 1 is 1. Diba? So, 3 plus 1 is 4. Si 2 is yung power ni X at saka ni Y. Okay. Then, the degree of the polynomial is 4. So, nilang tatlo, ang highest is 4. Diba? So, therefore, the degree is 4. Okay. So, we have here the exercise. Tell whether it's expression of polynomial or not. 
if is if it is a polynomial the identify if it is a monomial binomial trinomial or more or multi nominal so all you have to do is just identify this one if it is a monomial binomial trinomial or multinomial okay then for next items we have to determine the degree of each polynomial just write the degree the highest degree of this polynomials okay then we have the assessment just try to answer this one it's very easy okay 36 subtracted from a number r can be can be translated as okay so a b c or d so okay answer dito so it means so the answer is letter a 36 minus r 36 subtracted i know the answer is letter b 36 is subtracted from a number r so from a number r so r minus 36 okay so that's it once again it's me teacher koi of easy tutorial thanks for watching and see you on my next video